and will stay in the mining city. The death of a bicyclist near Butte has riders calling for more awareness between motorists and cyclists sharing the road. MTN's John Amy talks with a Butte cyclist who was severely injured by a hit and run driver while riding her bike. A recent deadly accident between a motor vehicle and a bicyclist in Butte has left one local cyclist with very mixed emotions. I feel sadness and I count my blessings because uh, it could have been me. A 70 year old Washington man died after he was hit by the side view mirror of a passing vehicle while cycling on Highway 2 Sunday afternoon. In 2010, Gina Evans was also hit by the side view mirror of a passing truck while cycling in Butte. Being that I was on my cross bike, I was a little bit higher, otherwise the mirror would have nailed my head. I did get whiplash, I did have two shoulder surgeries, punctured lung, broken ribs. Her incident and this recent tragedy remind cyclists and motorists that they have to safely share the road. People have to remember that we are owners of vehicles also, for the most part. We know the rules of the road, and I believe having patience will be less likely to create patience in the future. As a motorist, respect that bicyclists are a slow-moving vehicle and have the same right as a motorist would at a slower pace. She said cyclists must also take precautions. As you can see right here, there's a crook. There could be a car passing here, otherwise the cyclist would dump into the creek and the car would have to pay attention to the person on the bike without sending them into the creek. So I would want to pull off as safely as I can and almost get off my bike. Gina adds that she and several of her friends in the cycling community are saddened by the incident that occurred on this highway, especially knowing that it could have been prevented. And I pray for all this person's loved ones and the effect that it takes on the cyclist community. You know, it hits different people literally hard, but especially for this gentleman to be on a tour on the divide enjoying life, seeing nature, living it. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. Some really great points to bring up there. And the Montana Highway Patrol is still investigating Sunday's fatal incident. The identity of the victim has not been yet released.